All right. We are live. This is a YouTube live video. Here we go. The title. It's about Bob Ross. How can we not talk about Bob Ross if we're an artist? So here we go. Sit back, relax. And this is a video. I got some notes. Um, this is a video for someone who may be interested in painting the Bob Ross style of landscape uh, paintings. Um, I did this years ago. And I learned a few things. Uh, so first and foremost, it is Halloween. Happy Halloween. October 31st, 2021 here in upstate New York. It's a nice fall day out here. So coming to you YouTube live. This is about Bob Ross painting method. Let's go. Let's get into it. This is live. So people may be chiming in here. So. Um, the one big problem about the Bob Ross, uh, painting method, all right, that's the title of this video, <clears throat> and I'd first like to say, um, I love Bob Ross, I, I'm a, I'm a child of the 80s, I grew up with Bob Ross, uh, no disrespect, this is not, I'm not shooting on him at all, um, I, I love him, he's great, great to watch, um, Again, I'm a kid of the 80s, and so let's just start off by some good things, all right? But stay tuned till the end. I'm going to tell you the biggest problem with this method <clears throat> at the end of the video, all right? So let's, let's just start off with the main thing. He's fun to watch. Bob Ross is awesome. He's in every meme, uh, every uh, reference, uh, Simpsons reference, I'm sure, and... Things of that nature. Um, he's fun to watch. Um, what do you think? <clears throat> Would uh, Bob Ross be as popular if he did not have that hairdo? Huh? You ever think about that? What would Bob Ross be if he was just Bob Ross, the average painter, with a flat head of hair, or no hair, like me? What do you think he would be? Would he be as popular? I don't think so. I, I, I think his hair is, is part of his uh, marketing, part of his branding. I firmly believe that. And uh, moving on. Okay, another good thing about it is that anybody can do this method. I'm sorry, guys. Anybody can paint this Bob Ross method. And he's right. Um, if you're an artist and have tried painting or drawing, you're going to pick this up real quick. Um, if you're a beginner and haven't painted at all, uh, you're going to go through about two or three or four paintings and then you're going to find, okay, I can do this and I can really do this. And you're going to figure out the wet on wet method and the thin paint sticks to a thicker paint. All right. And making friends with the uh, palette knife. He's, he's right when he says that. Make friends with it. Make friends with that palette knife. And that, that palette knife can do amazing things. Mountains. I use an, a, a palette knife when I paint my crazy faces. Um, so I, I really think anybody can do it. Um, now that brings us to the big problems with this method. Um, few things um, when anybody can do it it's kind of cookie cutter I'm sorry to say it it's kind of cookie cutter method um, you're gonna you're gonna paint Bob Ross style trees evergreens um, bushes um, that brings me to the other bad part of this you, when it comes to style and finding yourself you, you want to develop your own style. And he says that. He does say that in some of his videos. But what do you want to do? What do you want to paint a bunch of Bob Ross style paintings? I mean, maybe Picasso was right. Art is theft. That's what Picasso said. Art is theft. Um, the other, not a bad thing, but just something to, to note that Bill Alexander invented or pioneered this method. And Bob Ross does give Bill credit, uh, Bill Alexander credit. You're going to want to look him up. 
Bill Alexander was great. I loved him. He was on in the early, early 80s, and I loved just listening to him talk. Oh, my God. He gets so energetic, and the accent he had and everything. And I, I really liked I, I liked Bill's style better. Uh, it was a little more raw, a little more scratchy. Um, but, you know, Bob Ross wouldn't be who he is without Bill Alexander. That's, that's, that's a fact, Jack. All right? Um, and what are you going to do? Paint a bunch of Bob Ross-style paintings? Uh, stay tuned right to the end. I'm getting close to the biggest problem with this method. And I painted these. Uh, I, I learned as a traditional oil painter, um, took some private art classes, did the still lifes, did the fruit, and then got into the landscapes. And, um, but then I, I, later in life, life took over. And, um, and I finally came back to art in my mid, mid to late 30s and rediscovered art and Bob Ross and I did some paintings and I'm going to show you one right now that's on my parents wall here in upstate New York in their bedroom I'm coming to you live from mom and dad's snowbirds uh, residence because they are not here because they left to go to Port St. Lucie Florida for the season and I'm stuck here in cold freezing upstate New York but I'm going down in December. So I'll show you the painting I did. All right? Come with me. All right. Let's see if we can get this in the frame. Because it's, it's a very large painting. Here it is right here. All right. This is my painting I did for Mom and Dad. Um, and that, to me, looks like kind of like a Bob Ross style painting. Um, I love these mountains and I love the fog, how it comes down. The water I had fun with. I used the fan brush that whew, I can really feel the texture here. It's really thick paint and that's stay tuned. I'm coming to the end about that thick paint. But that's my uh, Bob Ross. That was the best one I did. So I gave it to mom and dad. If I could change anything about this, I would change the fact that I, um, I put two trees on every grouping i wish i i don't know why i did that it looks too much to say i would have put a smaller one here and maybe three or three or four over here to kind of draw you into the middle but that's my uh bob ross style painting and mom and dad cherish it and they love it and they hang it here and uh so let's get to the final uh oh here's my dog vader the doberman i love that dog i miss that dog look at him God, he's been gone since 2014. Mom and Dad still have the picture of him on their dresser. Isn't that something? He had the little fuzzy from the couch. He destroyed my couch. Yeah. Anyway. Okay, now you're ready for the final biggest problem with the Bob Ross style painting method. Okay, stay tuned. I'm going to reveal it. And it is, drum roll please, I think Bob Ross in invented or created this style of painting so he could sell his oil paint. Duh, it's a very thick oil paint. And when you find out, when you, once you get into this, when you buy that little starter kit and your canvas, you're in a couple hundred dollars, guys. Um... Guess what? You're going to find out that that starter kit is not enough paint to do one or two paintings. You need the big 60 mil tubes, not the little freaking eight ounce ones. Um, so I, I, the biggest problem with this is the paint. You need a lot of it. You need a lot of his specific paint. You can't use traditional oil paint. It's too thin. He has invented a method where he has uh, worked out with these uh, paint companies it's a thicker paint. They used a thick binder for it. So you need this specific style of paint to paint this specific style of picture. That's my biggest problem with it. Three, four hundred dollars just to get started, guys. Are you prepared for that? I don't know. I'm just a paper and pen guy. That's why my name's Cartoon Mark. <laughs> and uh, I paint over old paintings. Look at my last couple of videos. I just painted over an old Bob Ross style painting. I didn't like it. I didn't... It came out all right, but um, 
I mean, the original landscape, but I was done. I'm over that. I just, it was a, a moment in time. So now I'm just painting crazy, crazy looking faces over all my old landscape paintings. Oh, well, my art teacher would be mad. But anyway, that's my biggest problem with the Bob Ross style method is that it just, you need a lot of his paint to um, paint that style of painting and you better have your wallet ready it's not cheap guys and if you don't have an art store near you uh, you're gonna be ordering it online paying for shipping and everything like that um, the biggest problem with the Bob Ross painting style method is the amount of paint you need I mean that was the problem for me I, I didn't like that I just uh, had an issue with uh, the amount of paint needed I mean you, you've seen his palette that he holds, that big clear palette. He's scooping up the paint, mixing it, and you need a lot of room. Uh, pro tip, I went to a hardware store and got a big piece of plexiglass. I still use it today. Uh, that's my palette. I love the smoothness where you can mix up the paint, but now my paint is just caked on over it so much. So that's my Bob Ross rant. Um, again, I love Bob Ross. I'm a kid of the 80s. I grew up with him. Um, he wouldn't be who he is without Bill Alexander, I'll tell you that. Um, so check out Bill Alexander if you're interested in the Bob Ross uh, method. Um, to recap, yeah, he's fun to watch and listen to. I still watch him. Uh, I, I put him on in the background when I want to go to sleep. <laughs> I, I just like the way he talks, as, as I'm sure you do too. And anybody can do it if you're not an artist. This is a method you can do, but get ready. Bring your wallet. Bring your wallet. You're going to need it. All right? Um, you're going to have to make friends with that palette knife. And it's a fun method to do. It's really fun. But what are you going to do? Paint a bunch of Bob Ross-style paintings? Yeah, I mean, it's great to start out. If you're just starting out or if you want your kid to start out, you know, it's good. Uh, but back in... Um, those days, I mean, I had to watch it on TV or buy the VHS tapes. Uh, the good part about that nowadays is YouTube, you know? Jump on YouTube. You can watch it all. So uh, that's my wrap-up. Uh, the biggest problem with this is it's cookie cutter and the cost of the paint. I, th I really think, I, I think he made this method so he could just sell his paint. And that's the money on the back end he's getting so bob ross rest in peace we love you bob ross uh, that's my video from cartoon mark thank you for everybody who tuned in live and like comment subscribe um do you like bob ross do you have you tried his method have you bought everything in, in the canvas and the paints what do you think of the price of all that stuff all right uh it's me cartoon mark I'll see you at the drawing pad. Happy Halloween.